Hello and welcome back to a new vlog. I didn't vlog last week. I'm quite glad I had that vlogging break to be honest because um, I just feel a bit more refreshed and ready to go for a new one. Um, yeah, so it's uh, Tuesday after Easter Monday and it's uh, basically coming to the end of the day now. I think it's about mm, 20 past five-ish, just after. Tim's just finishing final edits on my spring capsule wardrobe video, which should be up now and um i've just done all my edits and stuff for that i just need to edit a picture for tonight well several pictures um which i'll do after we've eaten i think because i can't be bothered doing it right now i'll show you what we are eating my battery's flashing at me so i hope it doesn't die um we're gonna have salmon tacos which is exciting so we've got some cut up veg here cucumber spring onion peppers baby tomatoes and what is this coriander yeah and then we've got some feta in here and we're gonna have some salad with it, I think. I don't know whether Tim's planning to have pesto with it. And then we've got some Tabasco, hoisin, it's a good one. And then we've got these wraps from M&S and then we've got some salmon as well. I accidentally got some salmon that wasn't the right one when we went shopping. I couldn't actually see one that I'd normally get, so I just picked it up randomly and it's a poached cooked salmon or like it's already poached. So we'll just see how we get on. We'll just try and warm it up. And yes, yeah, so that's what we're having in like the little tacos. So I'm gonna try and charge the camera for a minute and then show you when we're kind of eating. Okay, we've got the salmon on the tacos. I'm gonna, should we move this over here? put some of this onto the salmon. Mm. We have had this with pineapple before, which is nice to give it that kind of sweet sour thing, but we don't have any pineapple. So we're just doing it with what we've got. Oh, the colors of the rainbow. Mm, it's very colorful, isn't it? Eat the rainbow, they say. There we go, salmon tacos. Do so carpet ride. <laughs> um anyway thanks for that lovely rendition um we are now just about to sit and watch something we need to watch the last episode of this country we're gonna have a bit of watermelon watermelon and are we having i think i might have a coffee actually decaf watch tv and just chill out now the rest of the evening my spring capsule wardrobe has just gone live so that is up now for you all to see there it is literally just gone up now so yeah i think we're just gonna chill out now for the rest of the evening and i'll probably speak to you tomorrow Good morning everyone, it's the next day. It's uh, Wednesday. We're plowing through these days, sort of. Um, it's been a weird one today. I felt a little bit um, blah, just not being able to get that motivation and that kick um, in the right direction. I don't know why. Um, I've done some work just kind of been doing it without i don't know kind of been doing it i've got through all my dms all my youtube comments well as many as i could um which was nice and i feel better after doing that actually we've decided to go for a walk because as you will have seen this morning from my little clip we did a joe wicks workout but we've not been outside yet today so we're gonna go for a walk get some fresh air because i just feel like that does do you good especially when you've no garden i mean we are kind of struggling at the moment with no garden. So we've both kind of all our lives lived somewhere with no garden or like in a rural kind of space. So it's weird now. We're not like from the city or a town. So it's weird now not even being able to have that because we often like went back to our where we came from and did a lot of walks and things like that. It's kind of weird not having that ability to just kind of go out in the countryside now. And we've not got a balcony either. So that's a bit annoying. But, I mean, there's obviously a lot worse things going on. So we just get over it and we're just gonna kind of go for a walk and make the most of the weather and the sunshine. And it's quite nice because in our apartment, we've got so much light. So it kind of almost feels like you're in a conservatory because you've just got the light flooding in, uh, especially in this room 
from all different directions, which is nice. That's why one of the reasons we chose this apartment rather than one with a balcony, uh, just because it's got so much light, which is great for my work and videos. Anyway, enough rambling, seeing a few people walking outside. He's got his shorts on. He looks a bit more professional than me. We're just, I think, should we go to the canal? You know where we went by round Dukes the other week? We're gonna go there. I'm um, not sure whether I'll take the camera. Should I take the camera or do you think that's a bit weird? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. So yeah, let's get going. I'll just show you in the mirror what I'm wearing. Um, I've got my hand of the stories jeans on. I'm gonna pop some trainers on. I've put this shirt on. Maybe put my leather jacket over the top and let's go. How can I compare thee when no one ever ever This makes me sad seeing jukes all empty. That is usually just how it goes. Brought a new horizon. Open up our doors to something more. Spun me round and you shook me. So we're back from our walk now. I might actually change into my t shirt and cardigan because it's a little bit more comfortable than this. But it was so warm outside. It said it was 16 degrees, but I think it was warmer than that. Interesting fact of the day. Uh, but I'd just done. <laughs> just done some Instagram stories and I was basically saying that because we're inside all the time and not really doing much, there's nothing to update on. Like there's nothing to talk about and I'm kind of running out of things to say. So I guess the same kind of is true to the vlog, but let me know if you're feeling the same, like even just talking to different people, you're kind of like, oh, mm, well, there's only so much I can say. We're hoping that they're gonna come out soon and give us like a kind of date for when they're thinking about easing lockdown or just give us a rough guide. Um, and I think in some ways that's a lot better. Well, in all ways that's a lot better because at least you, could, you can have it in your head and then you think, right, I can do this. Whereas I think if people don't know, they start to get a little bit antsy and a bit, uh, what's the word? Yeah, a bit not adhering to the rules. There's a word for that. A bit rebellious maybe so yeah we've just been for a walk we went for quite a long walk actually it was really nice we went to down to dukes and the canal which is basically the other side of the city so right at the end of deansgate which is quite a far walk and then back again and then I've, well when i got back we've just finished all the links for tonight's igtv video we're gonna watch the corona update soon it's usually on at five and it's just gone half four now i did just think of something else that i needed to do literally blow my oh i've got an email that i need to reply to so i'm going to reply to the email and um then i think kind of wind down for the day i was just also saying on instagram that i don't really feel that motivated at the moment like i am working and keeping on going and enjoying the fashion content that i'm putting out but i don't feel that motivated to just constant i don't feel inspired to kind of push the boundaries because i often feel like i really don't like being complacent so i like to kind of change things and create new things and try different things but i just don't feel inspired to create that so at the moment i'm just going to keep going how i have been doing um, obviously that that works but yeah that's the situation so kim's in charge of cooking tonight let's put the tv on pause kim's in charge of cooking what are we having he doesn't even know and, it's, and yet it's nearly ready we've just kind of thrown some things together that we had like out so we had some potatoes that needed eating and we've sliced them all up cook them with onions no, i don't know why i'm saying we yeah you can use a bowl if you want and we also had some cabbage so we've done that and some sausages so sausage sausage so it should be good i'm really hungry actually i'm also really tired are you yeah. i said this before i feel like it's just because i don't know oh not on the camera you just end up getting a bit lethargic. So, let's have a look. Here are the potatoes. That's a lot of cabbage. Well, I didn't know how much to do, really. Yeah, but Tim is not good at proportions. Tim's proportions are man-sized proportions, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. XL proportions, so, yeah, I've just got to try and keep up. But, uh, how many sausages am I having? 
to, that's fine with me. So we're gonna eat. Last night we watched Tangled on Disney Plus, which is just a little girl's film basically. <laughs> but it was so good, it's so nice to just distract yourself with something really lighthearted and Disney-ish. Um, so I think tonight, I don't know what we're gonna watch tonight. We've been watching Quiz, which is the who wants to be a millionaire guy who cheated. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, we've been watching the doc, not documentary, the drama on that. So uh, it's the final part tonight, so we'll probably watch that. And that's that. Are we ready to, are we ready to eat now? Yeah, it's really good. Lovely. I like it a bit more burnt. Breakfast is served. This is our sourdough that we got the other week that we kept in the freezer, so it's nice and fresh still. Eggs, is this coriander? Yeah. Bacon, streaky bacon and coffee. day now and as you can see we've just had some breakfast we've actually had a really lazy morning happy thursday <laughs> we got up quite late well we just decided to have a lie-in yeah and then we had some breakfast which is really nice and what time is it about half 11 half 11 i'm gonna film my assumptions q a now i don't know what to do with my hair shall i curl it or shall i put it in a bun bun just looking a little bit flat i've not washed it today because i've not done any exercise so i thought i'd leave it today and then wash it tomorrow because i'll do some more either go for a run or do a hit workout anyway so yeah that's what i'm gonna do my youtube video soon i need to find something to wear what shall i put on for the video i think i'll do it here at this chair with my tulips in the background probably should put the washing up away though in fact let's go and do that now talk to me a little louder casual outfit of the day i've just got my racer t-shirt on from topshop and very comfy joggers from h&m our towels drying in the background uh so yeah this is what i just kind of wear day to day just throw on in the morning and then i'm gonna get changed to do my video i am ready and dressed for this youtube video this is what i have got on i've got this glossy blouse on from zara thought i would kind of dress up a little bit more for the video and just with some jeans and obviously my slippers um and then these gorgeous earrings from pd paula I actually did a, what's it called? IGTV with PD Paula. So you can see them on there as well. And yeah, so what we're gonna do now, I think is set up for the video. Set up on this chair, I think. And um, yeah, just get filming. It's quite an easy one to film because it'll just be sat down. So let's do it. YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing okay. Okay, so the video is all shot. Push the curtain back because um, the curtain had to be closed for the video. So I've got goosebumps. I'm actually really quite cold, even though it's supposedly one of the hottest days. But the sun hasn't quite hit the room yet, so it doesn't warm it up until slightly later in the afternoon. Uh, so what's going on? I need to put the tripod away. This is my tripod. I get asked all the time about my tripod and if you are interested, it's this one, which is really good. My dad actually got me this when I very start first started blogging. Yeah, we use it all the time. It's still really good, however many years later. So, ow, <laughs> just hit the top of it where the little, um, because this is sticking out but yeah we use this one all the time I find it a really good one so it's the yeah cam link and we actually got it from like an independent camera shop so uh yeah it was just a random one 
but so not like a Jessup's or anything. So um, I'm gonna put that away, get back changed into my other top, I think. Um, and then what, what time is it? It's only five past 12, which is pretty good going. Um, I've got a couple of emails to do and then that's about it really. So it's time to do some emails. Now I'm gonna sit in the sun at the window so um, I can get some done. I feel like the light's gonna affect the screen of the laptop but I'm just gonna persevere because I want to sit in the sun. So I'm gonna prop you down and get on with some work. So I've just been doing my work and I finished, kind of finished for the day, um, which is weird. I kind of wrapped up early, but by early, I mean like two o'clock. So very early. It's kind of one of those times where I'm just kind of dipping in and out as and when I can and just kind of picking things up as I go along. As I said, I don't really feel that motivated at the moment. I'm just kind of going along with it. So, I mean, I think the thing is to kind of give yourself a break if you don't have that motivation. Like, it's fine to not be motivated for a bit because next week you might be or it might take a month, but you know, it comes and goes. But I'm just actually having a look because it's my birthday in about two weeks and at the end of April. And my mum asked me to find a present that she can get delivered over. So um, I'm just looking now. I actually really want an artificial plant. I know that's really, I don't know, mature of me. <laughs> but um, I've been looking at some. Some of them are actually really expensive because I like this banana leaf one, 165. I feel like that's so expensive. For me, I, I strug I'm struggling with this because I can't actually see like what the leaves look like in real life. So I don't know, I do really like the banana leaf ones. I'm not sure about that one actually. Um, I'm just trying to find another one that's I mean that's 111 so that's expensive too I do would quite like one I kind of want it to go around here maybe next to uh, the window and the mirror or actually even on the window I have got a plot plot a pot that we had the real one in and um, it's just kind of sat there doing nothing so yeah that's that let's put you here in fact you can see the screen with me. Um, I have seen this one. This is like a real um, citrus plant. I, I found, what was the other one? A little mandarin plant, which I thought was so cute. They're actually real ones though. So I'm not sure about that because I sometimes think I don't know how a real one would last. Like, is it worth it? Because it might not last very long. So maybe I'll see. If you've got any recommendations for good artificial plants or um, even just good plants in general, then let me know because it's quite hard to try and find a good one when you don't really know what you're looking for. What is this one? Blooming artificial. Oh, see, I like that. It's been reduced to 94 now. That looks really big. It's 180 centimeters. That's pretty tall. But I quite like the idea of having a really tall plant. Mm, leaves per plant, 13, 15. Well, it starts 15 centimetres from the ground. Pot measures 17. I think that might fit in the pot I've already got, actually. Hmm, that's a contender. Quite like that one. Might see what else they've got, actually. Bamboo trees. Is that? Yeah, that's artificial. Where would... Are they all artificial? Oh, yeah, it's called blooming artificial. That's a bit of a silly question. So look what they've got in the trees section. Bay trees, I don't want that. Artificial palm and exotic. Oh, bamboo ones are cute. Really, I want something quite tall for um, here because it's quite a tall, slim space, so it needs to be quite tall and slim, I think. Oh, is that the one I've just looked at out of stock? Ugh, not so sure about the bamboo. It's quite tall and slim. It's actually really quite hard to decide. I think I'm just gonna have to keep perusing until I see something. That one looks nice in the room. Well, that is nice, actually. Picture of what it looks like in somebody's room, which is really nice. This is this one, artificial fiddle leaf fig. Well, that's quite expensive. I don't know, I'm gonna keep browsing and have a look. It's two o'clock now, Tim's still editing my video. I kinda want to go on a walk again because we've not been out today, but I think we'll just have to see where Tim is at with the video. But yeah, I've just posted on my home account my new lamp from Habitat. In fact, I'll show it you on. I'll show you here. So this is a new lamp I've got. I had a smaller grey one there before and I didn't really want that to stay. I think the black looks a lot better. It kind of cements in 
some of the darker shades with it and yeah it's from Habitat. I can't remember exactly how much it was but I think there were a couple of different versions of this um, but I love the kind of tripod style legs and then this is the um, lampshade on the table and I just I, I wanted something with more height here because um, the other lamp sort of just got lost so I wanted to bring the black in I kind of prefer the black to the grey I've got blacks over here blacky greys tones um, so yeah I just sort of tie it all in with the black lamp so yeah that's that's that that is the lamp and I'll catch up with you in a little while still there that's it the same there's a big streak in the sky where it looks like something's fallen Stop out. Stop trying to make your vlog a bit more interesting. <laughs> well it is, it's true. <laughs> I'll show you. I'm just trying to find on Twitter just in case something has fallen out of the sky. It was a bit more, yeah you can see it clearly, it was a bit more prominent before though but it goes right up like that and it goes all the way up. Which is very weird looking. Unless it's like smoke from somewhere rising up, but weird. And then Tim's just said, imagine if we were being invaded by aliens, which was a really helpful comment. Let's have a look. Trending. UK to set to announce coronavirus lockdown extension. Great. No, nothing on Twitter about it. How bizarre. Just planning for next week now, getting some video ideas together, some content ideas. Um, I wouldn't mind doing a little pick actually. Um, so yeah, just kind of pre-planning for next week now. And Tim, I think, has made me, oh, he's brewing me a cup of tea. So I'm gonna finish that off and have that. quickly show you this which I'm actually going to take for a picture it is a proper silk pajama set from Arquette which they're very very kindly sent over and it's just absolutely gorgeous it is silk and just feels heavenly on um, but I also think how good would it look for nighttime a pair of heels tucked in clutch bag earrings perfect evening look as well I don't think anyone would actually know this was pajamas you could definitely get away with this going out, but obviously it looks a little bit more pajamery with my slippers, but I just thought I'd show you it before I tried to shoot it. So I've just finished the thumbnail for tonight's video. I actually do this in a multiple of different, um, what are they called? Programs. So one, one, the main kind of one is Canva. You can get like pre-made templates, but I tend to just make mine myself. Um, and also in shot on my phone. Um, that's how I got all of these on and edited. So what I need to do now is da -da -da -da, upload it to the video. So I've just finished all of that off and I need to schedule it for this evening, which is 16 and I'm gonna put it on for 6 p.m. There we go, done and save. I don't think we're doing too well today, are we? I'm looking at coronavirus stats. This is gonna do you no good. We're suffering today, aren't we? I can't even talk. What are they doing? Taking the cones away? Oh, they're putting them back. That guy has literally been on his skateboard. Or, oh, he's making a little ramp. He's literally been on his skateboard all day. I'm sorry, but that is not your one hour exercise. Although I will just watch what they're doing just out of interest. Are we going on a walk? Are we going on a walk? It's quite windy actually, look how windy it is. It's awful. <laughs> tragic so we've just had the daily update that um lockdown's gonna be at least three more weeks which we kind of saw was coming we're just watching that now but i'm gonna start making something to eat i'll show you what i'm doing i've started off by putting some meatballs in the oven they're all in there i'm gonna chop up we don't have much veg left and i thought we had a bit more we don't have any onions left or anything do we onions oh yeah oh you've put them in the cupboard yeah, they do actually. Um, so I'm going to chop some onions up and some peppers and maybe see what we could have sweet corn with it if that's not enough, but it might be enough anyway. I'm going to chop those up and I'm going to make like a kind of um, 
stir fry sort of thing, either with rice or noodles. So there ended up being loads of noodles. I only followed the packet, but there's just so many noodles. So I think we can save a bit of this for another day. I'm gonna make a sauce now. I'm gonna put some soy, some Dijon mustard, a bit of sweet chili, um, and some salt and pepper in. Finito, peas, peppers. I put some carrots in just randomly because we needed to use them up. And fresh noodles. And I put some of the sauce in, salt and pepper. Voila. Okay guys, so the bathroom light isn't the most flattering of lighting. But I thought I'd show you um, what I'm gonna take my makeup off with before I end the vlog. So I actually got Sorry if you can hear the TV a bit, but Tim is watching Question Time. So I've got these products from Laura Mercier. Um, I've got, they sent these over to me, so it's part of their new collection. The lighting is just so terrible. I don't really get why it's so bad in the bathroom. So I've got the toner here, and then I'm gonna use this, which is the first time I've used this one. I've been using the other products a couple of days now. So this is the Skin Polish followed by the cleanser, mattifying mattifoy, moisturizer, and then the lip balm. So this is kind of the sensitive skin. I'm gonna start with the toner. Do with a mini ring light. Let's start with the toner here. Let's see if it's any better if show. And I actually take my eye makeup off with this as much as I can. Okay, so I've wet my flannel, get it down for my face, and then go in with the foaming cleanser. I'm gonna do this first to cleanse, and then I'll go in with the skin polish, and then just gently cleanse all that off again. I'm gonna go right down to my neck this time as well, because I feel like my fake tan's gone patchy down there. I'm gonna wipe this all off. Okay, so next is the refining polish. It's a oh, creme polish, and this hopefully will be a bit more of an exfoliator. So this is a bit more of a scrub. Put a tiny bit more on. off again and then I'm going to go in you can see all that that's getting off and I'm going to go in again with the cleanser finally I'm going to finish with the mattifying moisturizer followed by the eye cream very dark in here. I'm gonna end the vlog now though, face all fresh and clean and thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!